Okay, let's talk about the uh, synthesis gas and biogas uh, analyzer module in uh, industrial gases desktop. There's a lot of interest uh, today in uh, syngas and biogas because of the, the big push for uh, toward clean energy uh, solutions. And there are as many different kinds of syngases and biogases are there are sources that, prov uh, that make them. Uh, there are just literally dozens of kinds of gasifiers and biogas that comes from landfills and, and other bioprocesses and, and all the compositions uh, are unique. So in this uh, module we're trying to give uh, some, uh, some support to you to try to show you what the potential energy values are from these different gases and the, uh, the potential to take those biogases and syngases all the way to chemical products such as hydrogen, methane, or methanol. Uh, so it, it's a simple analyzer uh, to use really. Uh, I think typically if you know the composition of a syngas or biogas, uh, you can just uh, uh, go to uh, section number one here and I'll say, uh, I'll do, run an example or two just to show how this works. <clears throat> I can uh, use the up down little clicker here and I'll set this at 20% hydrogen or I can come over here and I can just uh, select and type in. So I'll set 25% uh, uh, carbon monoxide. Uh, I'll go 10% methane on this gas and then the balance is going to be uh, uh, nitrogen and uh, CO2. So I can just type in that and I can get a, a total percent here I see of 100%. Uh, and if it goes over there's a little reminder box to, uh, to make an adjustment so it kind of keeps you at 100%. And then next, uh, I want to enter a gas flow rate. So typically, you know, some gas flow rate. In this example, I'll use uh, 5,000 uh, standard cubic feet per hour. Okay, so that's the basic information that I need to run the program. Uh, first, let's turn to results number one, the energy value calculation. So the uh, hit the button, and, and it gives me the energy results of this particular mix, which turns out to be about 244. Uh, BTUs per standard cubic feet. The hourly energy available from this gas is about 1.2 million BTUs per hour, which is equivalent to about 356 uh, kilowatts. Okay, so let's turn to the chemical value, uh, chemical potential uh, from this gas. Uh, I can see I've got a thousand cubic feet per hour that could potentially be turned into pure hydrogen just as is. So if I put this through a PSA, for example, and separated out hydrogen, I could make a thousand cubic feet an hour of hydrogen. Uh, if I ran this through a water gas shift unit, <clears throat> of course that's additional capital, but it, it, you know there's enough CO there that uh, there, there's potential to uh, produce more hydrogen, and uh, it would allow me to essentially double the hydrogen output to about 2,100 standard cubic feet per hour. Uh, if I just uh, purified the methane from this uh, particular gas, it shows me there's about 500 an hour of methane. And uh, available gases in this feedstock uh, to make methanol are about 2200, 2250 uh, standard cubic feet per hour. So if I separated the CO and hydrogen, I could uh, use that to add to a methanol unit or adjust it to make methanol. So just a quick look, you know, it gives you some potential uh, ideas. Obviously, there's a lot more um, uh, behind uh, uh, the, the effort to convert some of these gases into useful products, but at, at least this gives you an idea in this module of what the potential are. And there's also a, a little diagram in the center of this module listing the uh, various pathways uh, that syngas uh, or biogas can be used for uh, upgraded chemical products or, uh, or energy products.